Tonight, it is the video you have to see to believe. A Hillsborough County man violently attacks a young woman in her apartment complex gym, but she is having none of it. And it was all caught on security cameras. News Channel 8's Trevor Sohaki is in the newsroom tonight with her incredible survival story. Trevor. Jen, the victim here thought her attacker was working out, but after fighting for her life, the woman wants to talk about her experience to encourage other women who may have been in the same situation to speak out too. As soon as he was approaching me, I pushed him. I said, bro, what the F are you doing? Nishali Alma was just doing what so many people do, getting in a late night workout at her apartment complex's gym. She saw a guy standing outside and let him in, thinking he was doing the same. Next thing you know, I get up from doing my workout and I grab my phone and he just approaches me and not a single word was exchanged. Though the security footage is silent, what happened next was violent. The suspect, who police say is Xavier Thomas Jones, tried to grab Alma, but she said she is not someone you want to mess with. When it was happening, I actually had no fear. Um, I am a bodybuilder, and I'm actually pretty strong. So in my mind, he was kind of equal to me. As the video shows, she ran to the other side of the gym, trying to call 911. My advice would be to never give up. Uh, my parents always told me in life to never give up on anything. And that's one thing I always kept in my mind when I was fighting him. The two ended up wrestling on the ground. At the end of the video, you can see him getting tired. Because the more fight you put, the, the more they don't they want to give up and just stop. The Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office arrested Thomas Jones less than 24 hours later. I was overwhelmed with emotion of how proud I was that this victim wasn't going to allow herself to be raped and how hard she fought and the strength she had. Sheriff Chad Cronister is... I am very proud of her, too. I am very proud of her. Uh... <sighs> This could have ended up badly. Okay. I keep saying, man. A lot of these dudes, you better start working on yourself. Stop being an incel in order to get women. The right way. Because women are going to have to start deleting you guys. To understand no means no, and you can't be acting like a damn fool. All right? This pornography thing, that stuff warps your mind, man. It does warp your mind. And it can lead down to this road. Okay? Look at Ted Bundy. That's how he was ending up graping all those women because he was into pornography. Okay? This guy wasn't looking at, I bet you he was looking at pornography. Uh, that stuff will mess you up. Now this dude's going to spend the rest of his life in prison getting graped by other inmates. Let's see how long he let he, he, he couldn't. This one was going to put the brakes on him, beat him up. And those men are going to beat the hell out of him in prison. And they're going to grape him, pass him around like a bunch of Girl Scout cookies. I'm glad Alma spoke up. And so is she. I was assaulted, but that's not going to stop me from living. That's not going to stop who I am. That's not going to stop what I want to do in life. Now, this all happened on January 22nd. Thomas Jones was arrested the next day. He's charged with sexual battery, false imprisonment, and kidnapping. Live in the newsroom, Trevor Sahaki, ain't on your side. Yeah. There's no excuse for what he's did for what he did. None. And it's it's over. His life is over. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. Later. I do think women have to be going to the gym and working out and taking some sort of self-defense to fight off these dudes because they are out there. And it's gonna get these times are gonna get worse. We're facing a recession. We're facing an economic crash coming real soon. So, ladies, it will no longer be able, it will not be a wise idea to walk the streets at alone. And we don't have close family nearby that can pick you up. It's better to start learning self-defense and investing in your Second Amendment right later.